Good afternoon everyone, welcome to Max Streamer Fishing Outdoors. Today I got a great show for you. It's a full moon in May, the first full moon in May. That's when you brim bed here in the south. I'm going to a local lake right down from my house, just a few miles from my house. It's full of copper nose brim. Let me tell you something, I love catching them on a fly rod using this rig. Now I've got a video on this rig. I may post here and I'll post it at the end. I'll at least post it one of the places on this rig. It's a sneaky peat. You can use any yellow popper. This is a sneaky peat popper, six pound line. I don't know if you can see that. And about a foot to 14 inches behind it, you put a black ant. You cast this out. Now I'm using a four weight, weight forward floating fly line today. You cast this out, let it sit over the brim beds. Sometimes it'll hit the popper. Sometimes it'll hit the ant. I don't put any dry fly stuff on the ant. So the ant sinks down. If they hit the ant, this is a strike indicator and it goes under like a bobber. Um, but anyway, sometimes they hit this, sometimes they hit this, sometimes they hit both of it. Awesome way to fish. Let's get busy. Let's go catch some fish. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah, he's a fighter. I've got a lot of sticks for some reason washed up in front of me. I'm here. I haven't. I used to fish this spot all the time. I've been fishing it since 1989. I probably haven't fished this in two years, but I used to fish it every year during the spring spawn, full moon in May. Let's get busy. You know how good you can see that? Let's get out there and let's catch some fish. All right, let's get busy. Here we go, it's right there. Okay guys, there's another look at the rig. Got a sneaky peat popper with a black ant trailing it. Awesome rig. Here's another one. All right, it came off. That's all, right. it was a little one. There he is. That's a better one. That's a better one. All right, guys. There you go. That's the. It's called two little ones. Not huge, but. Not bad, we'll take him. Let's get him back in the water. He's hitting it. There's a big fish out there. There he goes. There he is. That's a good one. That's a good one. Guys, that's the first one to hit the black ant. There's a big bass out there. I need to bring any bass here. There's a big bass out there chasing some of these brim. Bring, there you go, the Sneaky Pete's been, I don't know, probably caught, hadn't showed y'all, probably 
close to 10. Um, black ant, that's the first on the black ant. That's a nice brim right there, very good. Nice brim. I've caught them a lot bigger than that in here, but that's a good average size. Good dark looking brim. Let's get him back in the water. Woo. Oh God, that was a good one. That stick got me. There he goes. About jerked him out of the water. Guys, there's another one. Okay guys, had to cut out. I left these in my tailgated truck. The truck is only 20 feet right there. Don't forget these when you're brim fishing. Nice one. Let's get that one back in the water. There it goes, that easy. Nice, this is a nice one guys. Another nice one guys, I was fishing a spot by that truck. I was fishing a spot to the right, more towards the corner. They were all hitting the popper. Then I guess I caught a lot of those, so I moved to the left. All those ones on the corner were hitting the popper. All the ones a little down are hitting the, the black ant. That easy. Ooh. Ooh. Guys, that one hit the sneaky peak. Oh, that's a good one too right there. Yeah, he's hooking the mouth. Look how dark that fish is. Nice urban brim. Woo. But this is a Dawa fly rod. It's old. It's a 706. I also have a 708, which is a little bigger. And one thing I is I bought this is for four, five, and six line. And the 708 is for seven, eight, and nine line. So bigger reel, holds bigger line. This I have a weight four number four floating line on it. Um I think I got about a nine foot leader with a six pound tippet. Um, I've got that double rig that I showed you at the beginning and I'll show you at the end too. Um, but I have spare spools for these so I can, I've got one that's got regular floating line like six on it. I've got one that's got weight forward four. I've got another one um, that's a five weight line so I can switch spools out if I miss the line up or whatever. Um, I also have several other rods I can put on that bigger reel. I have some shorter rods I can put on this, like a seven foot one for trout stream. Um, but anyway, I'll go over them at the end, but let's get busy, let's catch some more fish. Woo. Guys, this one might should be the biggest. Woo. Yeah, that's a monster right there. Hit the black ant. Hey right, guys, there he is. Nice brim. He's close to being the biggest. Guys, this one hit the sneaky peak. See right there? I'm gonna show you this rig. I'll detail it more at the end. Up. 
Sneaky Pete popper, any yellow popper, black ant, about a foot behind it. And there's a, still a big bass out there chasing some brim out there. Guys, I'm going to see if I can reach where that big bass is. I don't think I can with this rod. If I had my longer rod um, with the 708 reel, with the um, 7, 8, or 9 weight line, I could. Um, but let's see. I'm going to give it a try anyway. As far as I can get it, and I got him, guys. Guys, he hit it. It's about as far as I can get it, and I got him, guys. Guys, he hit it. Oh, yeah. And there's a log right there. Guys, that bass hit it. Oh, he's jumping, he's jumping. He's not as big as I thought he was, but he's a good bass. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah, he's a fighter. I've got a lot of sticks for some reason washed up in front of me. He hit the popper. Oh, he's a fighter. I've got a lot of sticks for some reason washed up in front of me. He hit the popper. He's going to jump. That's the third jump. Guys, look at that. That's a good almost two pound bass on four weight line. I can't believe I caught him. I can't believe I, could, I got to where he was. I gotta get this line around. Black ants got him in the anal fin. Wow, guys. Look at that. Awesome, we gotta get a picture of that. Woo! Nice bass, look at that. He's good. I didn't keep him out that long. Told you. Guys, that was amazing. I'll have to apologize for my sloppy casting. I used to fly fish all the time. I haven't fly fished in two years. Maybe longer, maybe been three or more, but it's probably about two. I see fish breaking down the bank. I may have to just move to a spot. because I, I probably right now caught 30 brim here, 30 nice brim in 45 minutes i mean i'm ca catching them almost once i get out to where i want to get out three or four strips and back casts i'm catching them uh whew, that was fun all right guys i don't know if i'm gonna be, i don't know if i'm going to be able to top that bass i was about a two pound bass on this fly rod this is an eight foot two rod um four weight line Awesome fight. That was one of the best fights I've had in a good while. But let's see what we can catch now.
Now the last couple have hit the black ant. This is black ant, got a little red tip on it, but a red ant will work, black ant will work. Um, just funny how some are hitting the popper in places and some are hitting the black ant. Uh, but anyway, gotta love it. Let's try one more on this clip. Now guys, I'm just catching this out, and if it doesn't get hit right away, what I'm doing is just picking my rod tip up and moving it, pulling it forward, pull it, like stripping it to me a little bit. But I'm just using my rod tip and pulling it to me a couple inches at a time. That's a nice one. Let me quit playing with this one. That's a pretty one. Look at the colors on that one. Look how dark that fish is. I don't want to drop this guy and he's peeing all over me. Look how dark that fish is. He is. Not the biggest one, but that's the average for here. You see in my shirt how dark he is. I mean, that's black right there. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed that video. I was only there about two hours. Probably caught 50, 40 to 50 nice brim. Caught a few small ones. Also had that bonus bass. That was fun on that four weight. But anyway, guys, I'm going to post a link to this rig right here. You got a yellow popper. 12 to 14 inches behind it, you got a black ant. That's the best brim rig I know of. You can use this in rivers, streams all year long. Um, but anytime the fish are shallow, the brim are shallow. Anyway, guys, I've got a video on this. Check out that video right there. And then do me a favor, hit the subscribe button right there. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.